Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Let's pick our Bible. And have the reading of our, the word. Are you there? Let's read one to go. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Said the Lord. The thought of peace. Not of evil. To give you an expected end. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down balandociously on your enemy's head without apology. Uh, today our theme is my head, my destiny. So I will be sharing with us on discovering and fulfilling your destiny. Discovering and fulfilling your destiny. Discovering and fulfilling your destiny. So in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, um, the thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So God is speaking here. I'm thinking about you. Tell your neighbor, God is thinking about me. So let's start by defining destiny. A destiny is the blueprint of a man or a woman on earth. The blueprint of a man or a woman on earth. Destiny is your assignment on earth. Your assignment on earth. When we talk about destiny, we are talking about the future program by God for any person on earth. The future program by God so in destiny God is the determinant factor another way in destiny we are talking about God's purpose for your existence on earth and purpose is the original intention why a thing is created now, this is a prophetic church and I'm spending my time doing more of teaching. Because one of the reasons why most of us have lost it is because sometimes we are moved by prophecy and we don't know how to convert prophecy to performance. So your destiny is God's mind, thought, plan, program and intention for you. Not it has not, you see, your ambition falls into his vision. Anytime you see you desire something and you want to become it, it is not because you just recklessly desired. It has been imputed by God to drive you to your purpose and your assignment. So your desire, your desire are the integral part of God's plan for your life. Your desires are not foolish. Especially when they are healthy. Am I communicating? Hear me. If you are breathing. You are still alive. <laughs> you have a destiny. I can tell you. You have a destiny. Now let me give you four facts about destiny and this fact will make you to understand how number one every man or woman is born for a reason Romans chapter 8 verse 30 please I will be teaching and I want you to follow me every 
every man or woman is born for a reason. Romans 8 verse 30. Please help me. Romans 8 verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. Whom he did to predestinate means to know you before your destination. So, hear me, you are created for a reason. But, there is no body that is a biological accident. You are not a product of a man and a woman who could not control their biological instinct. So as a result of that, they gave birth to you. There are children that the mother gave birth to and they called the name of the child fortunate. Meaning, probably I would have aborted you. But you are fortunate that you escaped abortion. Hear me. There is nothing fortunate about you. You are actually created for a reason. Yes, your father and mother might not be in agreement before you came to the earth. But you are not an accident. Can I talk to somebody here? There is none of you here that is an accident. Am I preaching to somebody here? Look at your neighbor and say, you are not a biological accident. You are not a coincidence. You are not an improper fraction. You were created. You were born for a reason. Can I prophesy? I prophesy. Somebody here, your destiny will count. Tell your neighbor, I'm born for a reason. Now hear me. Your family is not just a reason. Ah, you have, your destiny is bigger than the family where you are. It's bigger than your village. It's bigger than your background. It's bigger than the school that you attended. It's bigger than your current status and current position. There's something about your destiny. You might not have money now, but your destiny is bigger. Am I talking to children of destiny. You can be hawking tomatoes. You can be going around selling okrika. But hear me before the end of two years, three years, five years, your destiny will be revealed. My mother was pregnant with me. <laughs> and she was a Muslim woman with a tesbah. But he didn't stop a prophet to tell her wow, how she was carrying me that you are carrying a prophet. Now hear me, your religious affiliation has nothing to do with your destiny manifestation. How can a prophet be talking to a woman who is a Muslim? Now you are going to carry a prophet. That we proclaim the gospel. It doesn't correspond. Hear me. When it comes to destiny. God does not need your permission. You are not hearing me. Number two fact about destiny. Is that your destiny has been predetermined. But needs your participation. Hear me. When we say your destiny has been predetermined. It means it has been decided. But despite the decision, your participation is needed. Because I've heard people say, I have great destiny. I'm born to be great. I'm born to be high. Yes. But hear me. No matter how big the prophecy of your future is, if there is no personal participation, you will die without actualizing it. Go to the grave. You will see many presidents that died servant without becoming president. You will see many governors that died without becoming governor. You will see many international prophets, apostles carrying it on their head and they died without impacting even their neighborhood. Hear me, no matter how heavy the prophecy is, your participation brings actualization. I was in Ibadan. Running, I started this ministry. Trying to make ministry work. 
For five years, God spoke to me to come to Abuja. But I did not want to come. Because I don't know how to leave the members I have there. One. Number two, I, I don't know anybody in Abuja. So how do I become what God said I will become? So I asked God, I cannot pay a house rent of 5,000 naira a year. You are asking me to go to Abuja that is highly expensive. How? So for five years, I delayed. And for five years, I suffered. Hear me. If God tells you something, you do not participate. You, some of you, your delay is not God that is causing it. You are the one. Giant vision need giant steps. It's a risk not to take a risk. It's a risk not to take a risk. Risk takers are risers and high flyers in life. I took my traveling bag to come to Abuja. I borrowed the money that brought me to Abuja from a member. She borrowed the money from her father's cooperative. I was in a thin passenger bus. I sat at the back and I closed my eyes. I spoke in tongues and I was weeping. Do you know why? I felt I have failed because I had come to Nasarawa to start church. It failed. I went to Ebuza, it failed. I went to Akomazi, it failed. I was in Agility, I failed. I was in Ibadan now, and I'm now, I thought I was a failure, and I was crying. I wept. You see, it's not the shot. When you see a matured man crying about life, it's because destiny is calling for you. If you have not gotten to that point where you cry, there is no call of destiny. Our God is a God that will make where you are to be discomfortable so that the call of destiny can take you to the place of actualization. If you have never cried, you have not known the pain of breaking forth in destiny. Especially when I think about where I left, it was hopeless. And I think about the journey, I borrowed the money. And I begin to think about where I'm going to, and I don't know where, how. In fact, I'm landed in Otako, and I, and I bought the vehicle that took me to Dusi Alaji to see a friend of mine that I squatted in his house for six months. But it was a call of destiny. Daba daba. Number two fact about destiny is that it is predetermined, but it needs your participation. <laughs> Hear me? If you don't participate, you cannot become. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, you cannot become. Am I talking to somebody here? Somebody shot fire. I, I thought you were shouting the fire where. Shout it where. Shout it where? <laughs> uh, number two. Destiny can be aborted. Can be aborted. Yes. It can be aborted. Number three. <laughs> in Acts chapter 1 verse 15. <laughs> and in those days Peter stood up. In the midst of the disciples and said. The number. The number of the names together. Were about 120. Go on to verse 16. Men brethren. The scripture must needs have been fulfilled. Which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David. Spake. 
before consigning Judas, which was guide to them that took Jesus. He was the one that betrayed Jesus. Peter is talking about Judas now. For he was numbered with us and he had obtained part of this ministry. He said he was among the twelve that Jesus appointed. So he was among the twelve disciples. Peter is now talking about Judas. How his destiny was aborted. The prophecy came but it was not written that the person that we betrayed Jesus was Judas but Judas put his name there go on he said now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity which is seen falling headlong with a burst asunder in the midst and all his bowers gushed out talking about how he committed suicide verse 19 hear what he said he said and it was known unto all the dwellers in Jerusalem inasmuch that the field is called in their proper tongue acad as academia that it is to say the field of blood verse 20 here this he said for it is written in the book of psalms let his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein and his bishopric be taken or and let his bishopric let another take what is he saying he said look these prophecies were written but judas decided to allow himself to be aborted then his bishopric was taken and given to another matthias hear me may your bishopric in destiny not be taken may your destiny not be aborted some of you am i talking to somebody here it will be an error when you get to heaven and god shows you you were supposed to be a billionaire in dollars but because you fail to participate somebody else is fulfilling your assignment God forbid am I communicating if you shout that amen well you are not going to be aborted in destiny am I talking to somebody here am I talking to somebody here if you shout that amen you are the one God is setting free now Number four, destiny can be delayed but not denied. Facts about destiny. It can be delayed but it cannot be denied. I prophesy. Nobody here whose destiny is delayed will be denied. If you shout the amen well, I see a miracle happening my destiny your destiny is chosen by god but its fulfillment will be determined by you ah kabaka shakabaka making it or fulfilling your destiny is your decision and not the decision of your pastor not your even your father making it and fulfilling your destiny is your decision your future is god's past anything you are about to become now is the past of god meaning whatever you are aspiring to become god has seen it before you enter i prophesy as your calendar is in his hands you will fulfill destiny uh, i thought they are shouting that amen <laughs> am i talking to somebody here shout the amen like thunder your future is the end trapped in the beginning am i talking to somebody here the end trapped in the beginning i prophesy what you will become i see you manifesting to enter into that i thought you were shouting that amen like thunder shout that amen like thunder shout it like thunder Am I talking to somebody here? What you will become if I can get an apple fruit now or even an egg? Let me show you something. Anytime you see an egg, I want you not to forget this. It might be an egg. It's a chicken. Are you hearing me? It's an egg but has the potential to become a chicken but need to go through process to become a chicken can you divide this for me to get the seed of this apple now hear me anytime you see an apple what will make the apple to become a tree is inside the apple you're not getting me I, I, can i rewind again anytime you see an egg what will make the egg to become a chicken is inside the shell. Oh, you're not getting me. You are the one looking for help outside. The egg 
that will make you become what you desire is inside. Thank you, sir. Please come, come. Are you looking at the apple? It just opened the apple. But these seeds are inside the apple. If you plant this seed, a tree will grow and an apple fruit will be on the tree. Hear me? This apple has the ability to become a tree and has the ability to bear children. So what will make this apple great is inside the apple, not outside the apple. Stop pursuing men for what is deposited inside you. You're not getting me. Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Mothers, can I talk to you? You hear me? Admire governors and president. But can I talk to you? That's your son. That's your daughter. She is a first lady. He is a governor. He is a president. That is the truth. Yes, that is the truth. As you admire other people's children, your seed shall become your desire. You are a kabada. Your seed shall become your desire. Am I talking? to somebody here ladies thinking you might not be a billionaire now but the seed to become a billionaire is inside you you don't need anybody to help you it's, that is why you think like a billionaire that's why you talk like a billionaire that's why you see visions to become a, you think about escape you think about big things it's not because you are proud it is the seed inside you that makes you think and talk like that hey hey sitting down like a failure jump up and shut fire hey hey ah Ephesians 3 20 before you sit down he said the Lord will do exceedingly now unto him he had this hope that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that that we think according to the power that worketh in us let me rewind it it will do god is the one that we do exceedingly abundantly above what we think but according to the power that worketh in us so without the power in us he will not do exceedingly abundantly so the power is in us let me rewind that scripture he will do exceedingly abundantly above what you think according to the power which is the seed in us so without the power in us god will not do exceedingly upon so there is a power inside me that needs god's permission to do exceedingly abundantly now you need to know when it comes to destiny and there are people i call destiny helpers let me know. Let me show you how to design those who are destiny helpers. Number one. These are people that connect you to the top. When you see them, what they do, they give you connection. Some of them might not have it, but they have the ability to connect you. How? Anytime when you meet people, who will tell you that I don't know, I don't have it, but I can help you to get a job. This are this is how you know people are destiny helpers. They are in different categories. Number two, they facilitate your destiny. When you meet them, things start going faster. Your sluggishness is over. They can make you get what you have been fighting for for 10 years 
is how you know them. Now hear me. They might not fit your righteousness. But they have it. Stop looking for religion when help has come. That's the problem of most of you. He must be a tongue talker. This has nothing to do with tongue talking. There are people speaking in tongue with you, gossiping you. So what is the excess of speaking in tongue? There are prayer partners that are crime partners. You give them prayer point, it become a gossip point. There are prayer partners that are gossip partners. You give them prayer point, they use it to gossip you. Have you met people you are sitting, you are, you are on the line, immediately they see you, they collect your documents, they bypass protocol and go inside and they say, a guy is calling you and they tell you, I don't know why I'm helping you, I just want to help you. They are facilitators. They carry your contract document. They carry it and take it in and bypass people that have applied six months in order for you to get them. That's how you know them. You see, you, you need to design and know helpers. Because if you don't know them, you will toil with them. Some, I'm sorry, some of them can be smokers, they can be drunkards. It doesn't matter. But on that matter, they are facilitating. One of my daughter, she said she got admission to study medicine and they wanted to swindle her in the system to give to another big man daughter. And she started crying. She said, I've waited at home for four years. I got many offers, but I choose. This is where my heart says my destiny. I just want to be a, a medical doctor. And she called me. I was crying. I said, they want to take everything. And I said, don't worry. You know, you know the system, manipulation everywhere. Despite the, the fact that her name came. If she got dead, everything just changed. Another person on her name. So many things just happening at the same time. When she sat down crying, somebody else came out. Passing, I said, young lady, why are you crying? And, it, and she mentioned everything. She did not know that the person she was crying to is the strong person in the university there. And just took all her, every evidence she had and went in. And just kept quiet and said, wait. And after three hours, came back and said, young lady, go ahead. Go and do your process. He said, that person that manipulated that thing was also having problem with the man who is inside over an issue. And that lady evidence became an evidence for him. That's how the man hands up. Hear me. Everywhere your life has been slow. Help us we facilitate. If you shout it, you are the one. Help us that we facilitate. Things will go faster. It will work. It will work. Number three. There are destined. How do you know? They are value to your life they don't devaluate you when they come around your life you become important value value when they come people will respect you because of them how do i know helpers when they come around my life me they don't need to have they don't used to have food to eat now i can have food and pay bill that's it how do I know I have helpers? They add value. Some of you, you fight your helper and you side your enemies. Because your eyes is blind. Somebody is helping you. You are saying he's using your star. Which star do you have? The star where you are for 30 years now, where you never change your life. You are still begging up till now. Your star, you know they beg your star, make it beg your life, make your life change. Number four. Is it three? Four. <laughs> they are burden bearers. They 
peer burdens. The peer burdens. They carry burdens for you. Mm. How do you know burden bearers? They are not looking for your crown. They are looking for your cross. You are not hearing me. Burden bearers are not men that are after your crown. They are after your cross. They are not looking for your wing. They are looking for your wound. To treat. They are ready to die with you. These are the kind of helpers you need. You need when you see them, when your life is going tough, they don't stay around you. They stay around you. When I was having trials in 2019, I told you. Hi, man called me and said, Look, I just love you. I love your sincerity. See, I know you don't know me. But I just love you. I'm just in, I'm just in love with you. Anything, anything. 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 See, see, see God, God knows how to use what men intend to destroy you. To help you. I have seen battles. There's no battle anybody can bring to me that can shake me. If, if, if battle from the same bedroom did not swallow me, which one will swallow me? Sure. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't. Bottom bearers. I have seen. Um, you say all A, B, C, D around your life is my responsibility. what it means when somebody sends you money in volumes and is asking you is he enough you don't understand and, and, and I'm saying ah, he's enough is he, is he enough you, don't, you see these are not, are not I, I, have, I didn't pray for any miracle for him no prayer point since I know him no prayer point Say, help me pray, help me pray. He just loved me. Hey. There are people I have fasted for, prayed for, for three years. They got breakthrough, they abandoned me. But this one, no prayer. Just love. He will watch me on air and say, Papa, your face was not looking bright today. I hope all is well. And I say, all is well. I, 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 I had night VG, stroke the morning. It's okay, rest well, rest well. I'm talking about Bolting bearers Bolting be That is why there is no betrayer That can affect me Because I have real men 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 that hey, hey, Listen to me There are men Who will stick their life for you Yes You need burden bearers. You are not the one crying. They are the one crying. You are not the one having sleepless night. They are the one going around saying, what can we do? How do we? Hear me? There are men like that. Burden bearers. One of my daughter. Secondary school dropped out. Not only married to a wealthy man, but married to a man that loves her. She can construct good English, but the man cannot play with her. It is not juju. There are helpers that come around your life. They are burden bearers. Burden bearers helper. They don't run from you when you have trouble. They are around when you have trouble. In fact, they want to be silent at your day of celebration. of my son. Every anniversary we have here, he's a billionaire. He will come here. I tell him that. I will tell Pierre. I say, put him here. You will never know he's a billionaire. He will go to the gallery and sit down. Say, no, 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 no. Papa, don't announce me. He has given his seed for the anniversary. So to my life, give me everything. He does not want to be shown. You! 
you only gave 50,000. You want us to put you at high table. Do you know I, do you know I help Papa? You don't know who help us are. Foundational members are not seen. Uh, can you see the foundation? You will not see. Burden bearers. Man, that when you are crying, their heart is jacking. Man, that when you are down, their heart is bleeding. You need help us like that. This thing is not about having children. No. You can have children and none of them is carrying your body. None of them feel your pain. There are children, their mother is crying. They don't feel any pain. I was settling a family dispute. Five of the children gang up against another daughter from another mother who adopted their mother because her mother is late. And she is taking care of their mother. And they are fighting her that she wants to take her mo their mother. Because they have refused to do their responsibility. She adopted her as her mother. Her own mother is dead. She is taking, she bought car. These children have money to buy car, but they cannot buy. But they are fighting. They are a truth. Hear me. When we talk about body bearer, it's not about blood though. Help us of destiny. The seed must be inside them to help. If the seed is not inside, they won't help. I know when a wife came to meet me and your husband gave some reasonable powerful amount of money just to bless me. And the wife said in front of the husband, he said, my husband is not a giver. I don't know why and what is making him to give. And he opened up his mouth. He said, I'm sent to Papa Igila. I prophesy. People that are sent to your life. May they appear. He laughed. <laughs> Sarcastically in front of me. And he said, my wife is saying the truth. I am a stingy man. But when it comes to you, I can give without looking back. I prophesy. Men. 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 That are put in prayer as we appear for you. Children that are put in prayer as. That we say, Mama, don't worry. Leave the bill for me. May they appear. Omo alanu ah, children that show mercy ah, that we remember the days you sell tomatoes, that we remember the days you sell pepper to train them. Sons that we remember, that we show fat, that we show fat, show fat, show fat, show fat, show fat, show fat. Number what? Number what? See that men of access and influence. That's how you know your helpers. These are men who have access and influence. Access. Hear me? Gaba gaba joko parada. These men, they have access to where you don't have access. And they can influence people who are there. This is how you know help us. They say, this thing you are looking for, I know it. I don't have the money, but I can influence him to do it. So when we are talking about help us of destiny, stop looking for money. This is how to design them. They come around you, they tell you, say, that, you see that job? I have access. I know the person. He's related to me. If I say one word with your CV, he will give you. Everything is not money. Look for men of access and influence. They can mock you. And if you are not careful, you can be destroyed by their mockery. When I came to this city, one of the things I when we rented the first apartment, I couldn't pay for the house rent. When I was, oh God, Jesus, may you not meet mockers. 
mockers, 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 mockers. When I'm passing, because I was just in the room, there was no big board, there was nothing, nothing. There were some women around the area. I rented the apartment. Oh God, oh God, oh God. When I'm passing, I hear, I, these women, when they are gossiping me, they will come at the front, sit down. When I'm passing, they say, hey, pastors, all these small, small boys. And truly, if you look at me, yo, yo, with my palm sander. Hungry pastor. In a house now, then they use. You see, when people use broken and vernacular to gossip you, you will find English language to express. You will lose contact. I was passing and they were gossiping me. I hit my leg on the stone because I heard them. They say, hey! Every time, fire, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm the person. Fear, catch me. The next week, I came out to go and buy something. I saw the women. I turn to go and follow. If I tell you the road to follow, I go turn 360. As I go, they say, hey! Then they run. Then they run. Ah. Ah. And they quote that scripture for me. They are believers. We get the wrong way, person, not the Pochuam. <laughs> I saw the women. I gave myself sense. Because I know if I pass in front of them, they will gossip me. So I turn. As I they turn, they stand up, they gossip me. There are people that can mock you, and their mockery can make you to lose contact. Hear me. Don't permit anybody to hurt you. When they start, block them. That is why there is a button called block. Have you, your personal sanity is needed for your destiny direction. Don't go and look for what they are saying. Mockery sometimes can kill your destiny. When your morale is down, motivation is down, depression can find expression. Yes, sir. 2019, there was no insult. Everybody didn't give to me. Me, I did not see it. I was off the internet. Why? Because this is my destiny, not your destiny. So who care what you think about me? You need to get to a point in your life where you know that you take responsibility for your life. Any other person's opinion is infinitesimal. Seven costly mistakes people make in destiny. Number one, wrong association. Your association will determine your assimilation and acceleration. You can be deactivated. You can deteriorate as a result of the people you associate with. Hear me. I love everybody. But it's not everybody that is going to where I'm going to. Your company will determine what will accompany you. Hear me. When you sit with Gossipers, you will lack gospel. I am too determined to go up that I don't spend time talking on things that are detrimental, trivial matters. You have not built anything in life. You are talking about men who have stayed over 30 something years, 50, 40. Preaching the gospel still standing. You don't understand. The higher you go in life, the slower your movement gets to. You will know why men at the age of 90 decide to have the third leg. These are men that run with speed at their early stage of life. The older you get, the slower life becomes for you. You talk too fast because you have not met traffics of life. Hear me very well. You will never see lion in the company of antelopes. 
If lion is in the company of antelope, there is about to be a barbecue. <laughs> Are you hearing me? <laughs> Jagabago, Jagabagada. Are you hearing me? Nakosika parakatosi akata. Zakata. Lions are territorial commanders. And that is why when a lion holds a territory, another lion does not transgress. If another lion comes to that territory, there's going to be a big fight. Know your cycle and stay around your cycle to be circulative. The eagle gets to a particular level. The higher you go, the lonely he becomes because men who get to the peak they don't go like birds of many feathers birds flocks together but eagles are seen by their ability to be distinctive sharp and outstanding everybody can get to the height that you are the higher you go people with that capacity ability they will drop down life is a race and sometimes in the competition of life, you see men fail and fall short of standard. Number two costly mistake people make in destiny is marriage. Marriage will determine what will make you or my you. I used to think that marriage is not important. Marriage is important. Your friend as a husband or wife will determine your destiny in life. A wife can become a knife and husband can become an ask. Marry your friend and not just beauty. Many destiny have been shattered by marriage. Wrong marriage. Don't be in a hurry to get married. When you marry the wrong man, you are going to suffer through life. Marriage is for better, not for worse. It is meant to be enjoyed and not to be endured. Are there challenges in marriage? Yes. They can be surmounted when you marry the right partner. Marriage is not competition. Who first get married? First getting married has nothing to do with the equation of marriage. Stay and wait and get married to the right person. The first wife God chose for man. Failed man. That's why God said find a wife. Yes, I believe that man should look for perfect will of God. But your participation in looking for a good wife is important. Don't pray and close your eye. Pray and open your eye. Watch and pray. That's what Jesus said. Watch and pray. In marriage, open your eye while you are praying. Before if you close your eye, you will be looking for Richard. And at the night, you will sleep with Leah. Hear me. Hear me. There are too many pretenders in marriage enduring suffering and slavery. Wearing the same cloth doesn't make us equal in art. Hear me, no matter how intelligent you are, as a young lady, if you marry a mumu as an husband, he will kill your education. Uh, am, I, am, I, am I communicating? You are a beautiful lady in three months after you marry your husband. You look like Mama Chundu. He has decorated you, brought you down to zero level. There are men who feel insecure when they marry intelligent women. If you're a man and you know you can't stand intelligent woman, don't near her. Go to the village and marry in Embri, in Brina, Can I teach you? Jagabaga bagada bagada. Am I teaching you? Am I too high? Is it the churches? Am I heavy? Don't be in a hurry to marry. Marry the right partner. 
Hear me. If you are in a wrong marriage, the man is beating you, assaulting you, destroying you. I'm not among the pastors that say die in an abusive marriage. Hear me. Separate and ask your families to talk and intervene. If your pastor keep you in an abusive marriage, will he allow his daughter to be assaulted, abused, insulted that way? I'm not an advocate of divorce. I'm an advocate of a man that should be responsible in handling. There is no marriage that is worth your life. There is no marriage in heaven. Marriage ends here. This overblow. Yes, hear me. I believe in the sanctity of marriage. I believe that marriage which without the bed defy. I believe in the importance of marriage as one of the pillars in Christianity. But hear me, it is not all about Christianity. It's one part of your life. And one part of your life should not make the other part of your life to suffer. You should become a president. You should become a governor. You should think about your children. You should think about your life. Hear me very well. Take your time before you marry. I am telling you. I am telling you. If God should blind your eye, marriage will open your eye. Every sign you see in courtship is a red flag of what is about to happen in marriage. Am I in a hurry? Hello? Hello? Uh, it's too heavy, ba? Mm. It's heavy, eh? It's heavy. See some beautiful ladies, women with good hearts, falling into the hands of wrong men. Depression. You want to kill yourself because of a man? That after you die, you will go and marry another one? What is wrong with you? I will commit suicide. I will come. Shut up there. Who's suicide? Commit success. Go into success and let your future answer him. Can I talk to some of you here? There is no useless man that is worth your tears. He cheated on you, beat you up. Your mouth is swollen up. Every day you have domestic, you say, I have domestic accident in the kitchen. Which domestic accident? You know it's your husband that is beating you. I, I bite myself. I bite myself. You not look like somebody that has paralysis and stroke. It's insecure. Costly mistakes some of us make. Hear me. Sit down, please, 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 please. I have discovered that we determine what we become in life. We determine what we become in life. May you not make mistake. Oh. I'm talking about costly mistakes in life that affect our destiny. Number three is when we consult a cortic cycle. You can make mistakes when you are going to look for power, for money. You want to become rich overnight. You see, this equation and this mentality that people become great and rich by doing occultism is one of the reasons why there is breeding ground for laziness in Africa. I've seen spiritual sons who come to me. I'll pray for them. That's impartation. They still come and meet me again and say, Papa, I know this is not it. I mean that thing behind there are people with a with an abalistic and native mentality of witchcraft uh, desperation 
you don't just believe that hard work, knowledge and wisdom can put men on top. I, I'm talking here today. Some of you are going, which doctor? Everywhere. Which doctor? Everywhere. You come to church on Sunday, on Monday, you are with Baba. You want to be rich by missing concussion. They have given you gutter water to drink. You tie everything. Tie your neck, tie your leg, tie everything. You look like a decorated winch in the night with all the costume they put on you. Yet, there is no money that have come to you. Money don't come just that way. You must engage financial intelligence principles to make money. The church doesn't understand that we are making costly mistake if we don't teach dignity of labor. In the name of faith, we have raised lazy generation looking for miracle by all means, by shortcut. I believe in miracle things everywhere. But hear me, hard work, smart work, network is very important for acceleration in destiny. Nobody get there by lying down with witchy-witchy mentality. Sitting down, praying, just relaxing on prophecy without corresponding work. Faith without work is death. Somebody will see this big church and think it happened overnight. So when I see young men want to become me overnight, they think I just arrived here overnight. You can't disappear this overnight. You must walk towards it. And in what, hear me, when you don't grow up and you are trying to jump up, you will come down. There's a difference between jumping and growing. We have too many destiny jumper and not destiny grower. That's why you hear them in 24 hours, they are down. Vapor destiny. They appear like a smoke and they disappear in the twinkling of an eye. Hear me, occultism will never help you anywhere. Yahoo Plus will plus your suffering. 